Item number, SCP-6367. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-6367 sits at negative 30.36683, 45.81011, along the northwestern region of Algeria, Africa. It is desolate, guarded by the sole member of MTF Epsilon 98, Sun Watcher. No further containment procedures have been deemed necessary. Description: SCP-6367 is a single wooden chair, sat in the Grand Erg Occidental region of Algeria. It is unknown who placed SCP-6367 there, or what purpose it is intended for. The chair itself does not exhibit any outward anomalous effects. All attempts to interact with the object by Foundation personnel have been unsuccessful, as SCP-6367 remains in use by Agent Parker Watteson who has sat there since its discovery. When inquired, Agent Watteson has confirmed that SCP-6367 is, in fact, anomalous, and has since refused further elaboration on the subject. It is unknown how Agent Watteson acquired this knowledge, nor his reasonings for withholding information from Foundation personnel. Given the relationship between Agent Watteson and SCP-6367, some legitimacy has been provided to his claims. Additionally, no anomalous coercion or any additional influences on Agent Watteson are currently suspected at this time. Preliminary Interview Upon SCP-6367's discovery and the claims by Agent Watteson that the object was anomalous after sitting on it, the following was conducted by researcher Niles Gustom to ascertain further information. Begin Log Oh yeah, this chair definitely has something funky going on with it. Funky? Yeah. Like... It's just really comfortable. What? I'm sorry, but I don't think I get what you mean. It's exactly like I told you. This chair is not normal. How so? I'm not gonna be able to get up after this. Oh, so you're like, stuck there? No. <laughs> no? It doesn't really feel like I'm stuck. So can you sit up or anything? If I tried, maybe. Then, what's stopping you from getting up? The fact that there's something funky going on with this chair. End log. Addendum 1. Concluding the events in the preliminary interview, Agent Watteson has yet to remove himself from SCP-6367 after one week. Further conversations with the agent have revealed the following. Number 1. Agent Watteson is not being restrained by any physical, metaphysical, or magical objects. Number 2. No discomfort has been reported by the agent despite sitting on SCP-6367 for an extended period of time. Number 3. The agent has no interest in moving from SCP-6367 since the preliminary interview. Number 4. No behavioral changes have been reported by Foundation therapists in regard to Agent Watteson. Anomalous screening also remains inconclusive. Attempts to remove Agent Watteson from SCP-6367 remain underway. Referenced below is the current list of actions undertaken by on-site containment teams in removing the agent, followed by their results thus far. Action. Agent Jackie Robertson formally requested Agent Watteson to step away from SCP-6367. Results. None. Action. Agent Robertson, Dr. Howard Raines, and researcher Travis Lapid all attempted to forcibly remove Agent Watteson from SCP-6367. Result. Attempt unsuccessful. Agent Watteson did not move from SCP-6367 whatsoever. Action. Disciplinary action up to and including termination was threatened to Agent Watteson for interfering with further investigation of SCP-6367. Result. No results. Agent Watteson has little regard for his position at the Foundation. Action. An additional two weeks paid time off was offered to Agent Watteson in return for him vacating SCP-6367. Results. Offer was rejected in favor of remaining on SCP-6367. Action. A video of Agent Watteson's family formally requesting that he returned home from SCP-6367 was played. Result. 
Agent Watteson requested the arrival of Foundation lawyers to initiate the divorce of his wife Laura in the event that the video continued playing. Still no movement from SCP-6367. Action. Ontokinetic Anomalies attempted to displace Agent Watteson from SCP-6367. Result. All attempts unsuccessful. Action. One AMT bulldozer was brought to SCP-6367's containment site to physically remove Agent Watteson from the object. Result. All attempts were again unsuccessful, with neither SCP-6367 or Agent Watteson moving from their position. The bulldozer used was later sent for repair after a large dent was discovered near the front where it engaged with SCP-6367 and Agent Watteson. Action. Agent Watteson was asked what the Foundation could offer in return for his compliancy in leaving SCP-6367. Result. Refer to Addendum 2. Addendum 2. Following Addendum 1, Agent Watteson was asked by Foundation personnel if he could be convinced to remove himself from SCP-6367. After further conversations, Agent Watteson stated that the only way he would remove himself was if Foundation personnel could do the following. Using time-altering anomalous phenomena, personnel would retrieve another Agent Watteson from an alternate timeline and have him convince the agent to leave SCP-6367 permanently. Foundation agents agreed to Watteson's demands and began the preparations for retrieving another Agent Watteson. This task would eventually be completed by Site-01's Delta T, who would then dispatch the alternate Agent Watteson, hereby referred to as Agent Watteson-2, to SCP-6367. Upon arrival, the following was recorded. Begin log. Hello, me. Hi, me. What are you doing on that chair? What do you mean? I mean, like, isn't it kind of weird that you're just gonna sit there and do nothing? No, not really. Oh, and why not? Because. Besides, have you tried sitting on this chair? I can't. Not with you sitting there. That can be changed. Well, yeah, but I mean, why? What's so special about it? Agent Watteson stands from the chair. Come and find out. Oh, uh, well, okay then, fine. Agent Watteson steps aside from SCP-6367 and Agent Watteson-2 takes his place, sitting down on the chair. Oh. Agent Watteson walks away from SCP-6367. End log. Agent Watteson has since departed to Watteson-2's reality, under the approval of Delta T. Agent Watteson-2 has likewise remained on SCP-6367, refusing any and all attempts made by Foundation personnel in removing him from his position. Thank you guys so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to my level 4 patrons, Lesby Friends, Alexis the Great, Everborn, Totally Not a Femboy, and Joe Light. And a huge extra special shout out to my level 5 patron, Doomsday LLC, Prince and Design. If you would like to see your name at the end of my videos, see my videos early, and get some other cool perks, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell. Link in the description.